Okay, touch gloves. One step back on the mark. Let's go. Well, definitely you are one of the fighters I uh, really enjoy watching, Rob Ferguson. I think I don't think I've ever seen him fight that's not been action from the first round. Can I tell you what happened in last time when he fought uh, Nick Atkins? He went on oh, to win the, the fight. Uh, th three seconds in, I reckon I called him as done. He copped yeah. a body shot, and I said he was over. He was done, and he came back and made an idiot of me, as people so often do. Just tough as you like, but Rundle uh, also renowned for being a real warrior in the cage in the ring. Kicks like a mule, does Nick Rundle. The one thing I'll say is. He, there he goes, he really whips that shin across like a baseball bat across the thigh. The real danger for Rundle is going to be the hands this is of, of Ferguson. You can see Rundle keeps a very low guard work, hammer as work. he pushes forward. Yeah. Ferguson actually uh, starting a little bit flat in this first round. Last time he came out with a little bit more mobi mobile footwork. And he's really just, trained. Uh, yeah, just, just a, little, uh, a little bit of a slow start for this one for him. Kid Savage backed up against us. You can see Rundle in the red shorts. Peter Hickmott separates the pair of them. Rob, Kid Savage, Ferguson, golden black with the pink anklets. And we're just short of our title fights here. CMT middleweight title is up next. With you Sholly mean, you and mentioned Elliot that, Compton. You, you mentioned that Rundle is back in Tassie now. So the one thing that may be uh, a, de a determining factor in is the fact that how much uh, sparring is he getting back at home and uh, to what caliber? Particularly coming from you know. Boonshu Jim, even yeah. at that weight, you know, you've got the likes of Nick Atkins, Daniel Jones. Yeah, uh, that's right. At this weight division, he would have had a lot of uh, a lot of sparring around the same weight, same size, same it's ability there, almost. There. Yeah, absolutely. So it's going to be, uh, but he seems to be doing okay. He's found uh, found his feet, found, found his aim nicely, still looking sharp as, uh, as ever. Good hands from Ferguson, nice, straight and sharp. And you think Rundle's just got to press on with those kicks. We're working well early. Starting to tire a little. Ferguson has eaten a lot of shots. Yeah, but he does. He does, and he always just comes back. Just as you said that, he yeah. chewed on a, on a glove. He does. He just uh, he, he looks a little bit weathered now. He's starting to blow hard a little bit already. Already Robbie cut Ferguson. is Rob Ferguson. Have a look at that hammer. That's underneath the eye. That's the only saving grace for him. But I don't reckon I've ever seen him fresh the whole way through. He no. always does it the hard way, Ferguson. He, he, he doesn't never like comes out and tape jab left hook. Uh, he never comes out and does it easy. He <laughs> comes out, he does it the hard way. Maybe it's all he knows. Maybe it's all he likes. Who knows? Some people, people are in this business for different reasons. And, and, and you get the feeling with Rob Ferguson, he's in the, in the business just to fight, to get in the fight in the ring. He likes to turn every fight into a rocky story. He does. <laughs> Never goes home pretty as we approach the closing stanza of this first round. Rundle in the red shorts has had the ascendancy early on from Ferguson. Black and gold. As we hit that gong. In the corner of Ferguson, whose hands are very good, but Rundle is just savage. Elbows yeah. and hooks, and there's nothing particularly pretty about Nick Rundle. He just wants to hurt him. I think, look, my, my theory on just putting your gloves on your head, and people go, oh, that's a defence. But you know what? Even if you're getting punched through the glove, there's still an impact. Yeah. That still rattles the old marbles around a little bit. It's you like know. getting hit with a bigger glove. That's yeah, all it you is. Know, stay, yeah, <laughs> stay, yeah, not a lot of precise foot movement in this one, but these two are no brawlers. I mean, they, they both will brawl if needed. As we head to round two of three, and Rob Ferguson has already got a tub and a half of vats on the cranium. He's in the black and gold. Rundle in the push red kick, push shorts. Kick, push kick, one, two, three. That's the voice of Mark the Hammer Cassanini, and I'm Bex Tui. Whizzing past the nose is, is Ferguson. Goes low. That turning break, low break, body break. rip is a real shot. The left body rip for Ferguson. Yeah. For Rundle, I just think he's got to kick as hard as he can, and when he comes forward, keep those elbows and, and the pressure on. For, for up, oh, look at that up the middle from Rundle, and he's just brutality on the inside. There's so much space for Nick Rundle to operate in. And the other thing I noticed about Nick Rundle is for this weight, he's a big guy. Like he's, he's got a, yeah, he's big shoulders, dude. yeah, big upper body, strong shoulders. Just Good body lock, that. throws him down. Um, a lot of power. He's, done the, he's certainly done the work. He's but, just walking through him. A lot taller than uh, Nick Atkins, who had three wars with Ferguson. He sits in the corner of Nick Rundle. Bit of a slip there from the Tasmanian. Step up elbow, nice. 
And now Ferguson lines up and he's looking to unload that right hand. And he does, but he gets nothing but cage hammer. Oh, again with a clipping right. He's taking some solid shots. Some solid shots as Rundle. The, make no mistake, Robbie Ferguson can throw him and throw him hard. But Rundle's just shown what he's made of and he keeps a good strategic fight happening stop, stop. in his favour. Rundle just power, uh, aggression and Rundle brutality forward. Rundle cut two, Hammer. Rundle cut two. Rundle's cut as well now. To the body, to the head. They exchange a straight shot. Body kick, Ferguson. Catch, semi-takedown. Rundle, Rundle on the receiving end of knockout of the year, I believe, at the Australian Muay Thai Awards at Chris Bradford's prestige show, had Simon made limp oh, on the dodgy leg as he pushes forward. Right hand. Just stunned him. On that occasion, mate, limping on one leg, knocked him out with one shot. Wow. At this weight, you just cannot make mistakes. Just chipping away, chipping away at the thigh is... is uh, yeah, Rundle goes inside Rundle. on the left and then yep. outside on the right. It's good to vary that up, isn't it? Yeah, Hammer? I was just looking for the next move there, but Rundle, smart tactics to chip away at the thigh, even though they're clinched up. And it's a bit of a stalemate position. He keeps active. Those little chip shots, you still got to count him. He's still being active. He's trying to cork up that lead thigh. Nice body lock spin takedown. It only takes take one down. to the bottom of the quad or the side of the yeah, knee. Yeah, you know, they all wear you down. You know, they all take away your mobility. What Rundle he needs. looks wobbled, Hammer. Oh, counter right. Downward elbow, clinch, he'll try for the knee. The hips are locked in. Clack has gone. A little bit of confusion there, both boys stopping. Stopping. Body lock. Stop, stop he'll look for that twist again. Didn't come for him. But geez, Ferguson, you're never going to have an easy fight when Robbie Ferguson's facing you. Every week, Rob Ferguson looks absolutely done in the first round. And every week, I'd ride him off. And every, every week, he comes back. Bounces back. Rundle. I still think had a better second round than Ferguson, but he, geez, he's cut. He looks like he's been in a fight. He looks much worse than he did at the end of the first. You know what? It's a close one, this one. It's a close one. Beautifully matched fight. This division, this cruiserweight division in these gloves for quality knack Moyes just seems to, it's just, it's CMT all over. It suits nicely. Yeah, look, shallow, shallow division with regards to numbers. But geez, deep in quality, you know. Round three, folks, the Go. final three minutes of this barn burner between oh. Nick Rundle and Rob Ferguson. Body kick counter right. Rundle, Rundle. ducking his head dangerously as he Look marches way, forward. Jake. Just pressing Ferguson up against the cage. Trying to wear Stop. him down, Stop. trying to jostle for position in the clinch. Normally I ask you where the opportunity is, but I think both of them have opportunities every yeah. second of this fight. I think Ferguson... It's just used to having wars. So he's sort of, he's, he's happy to be in deep water. He's happy to, to have the uh, the battle scars rage upon him. Seems more comfortable yeah, after sure. he's been cut, Rob Ferguson. He does say that. He almost likes to uh, get a couple of shots on that. But the rough head of his and uh, some, keep pushing forward. Some fighters need to be hit before they switch on. Yeah, and he's won. Oh, Rundle! Racking oh. right hand. Jeez, I tell you what, a few years ago that would have dropped Nick Rundle. He has developed a chin out of nowhere. Amazing stuff, folks. Of course, still to come, John Wayne Parr and Brad Riddell, Yurina Bash, the superstar. Oh, do not go oh, anywhere, folks. That's Wayne, going to be amazing. Wayne Parr and Brad Riddell. Oof. I'll tell you what, any day of the week, give me that fight. That's going to be massive. I'll say this. I reckon, short of Michael Bedardo, Brad Riddell is probably the most dangerous 76-kilo fighter in six-ounce gloves oh, that you could get look, in the table. You know, for me, Stop. you know, I've got to give props to John Wayne Parr for fighting Brad Riddell on his own show because a harder fight you probably couldn't find in the Oceania for him. Well, here we are, folks, with Ferguson back in going and Rundle trying to tie him up in the red. Rundle had the running early, but with Rob Ferguson, it is literally not over until the overweight female starts to belt out a chorus hammer. Definitely end up. Out, they're out. just locked in knee for knee. Stop tried spinning for elbow. Turn, yeah, tried for the turning or spinning elbow. Did Ferguson. And it only takes a moment and an opportunity for Rob Ferguson to land the big shot. But Nick Rundle's just being so clever. Moving, 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 What's chin down. Have a look at him, chin he down. He want to move now, Hammer. <laughs> Ferguson is closing. Bleeding out of just about everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, clubbing right hand. I'll tell you what, Nick Rundle has taken some solid shots from Rob Ferguson. And that alone 
I it's just see. massive, you know. And I don't reckon Rundle's taken a backward I step this whole fight. Neither has no. Ferguson. I mean, no. Ferguson, you expect that. I mean, I can't, I, at this point, to be honest with you, at this point, I'm thinking, how am I going to judge this? How am I going to score this one? I can't really split these guys. Rundle had a good opener. He opened up hard in, in the early rounds. It sort of evened out now. Will it be enough for him to, uh, to get the win here? But geez, Rob Ferguson just pressuring up, pressuring up, yeah. and landing some good shots in the latter part of this fight. Here we go. Clack has gone. How's it going to go down to the final moments? Five seconds to, to go head. in this one, folks. How do you see it? It's Rundle backing away from a fast finishing Ferguson. Rundle feels he's yeah. won it. The hitman, Anthony Vella, is happy with his charge, but uh, you get the feeling from the Boonchu crew that they feel they've done enough, Hammer. Yeah, I think uh, Rundle's pretty happy. He put his hand up. He turned at the at the end of that round. Rob Ferguson's given us the old F-bomb. And uh, he's turned and he's done the old... Yeah, I'm not happy with that. He, he would have thought he would have pitched it at the line. So maybe that is the tail of the decision for this one. You did say early that, I mean, we've seen Rob Ferguson fight quite a bit, that he started slower than you expect as yeah, we look at some yeah. of those, the highlights of, of, of a third round that could have been fought in a phone box. Yeah, and it was and, uh, it was a lot closer. It was a lot grittier, this fight. Um, last time out with Nick Atkins, Rob Ferguson had the turning back kick, if you remember. Yeah. Beautifully timed. He just showed a bit more dynamics. This time he was just in there brawling for, for the most. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. They have come back with a split decision. Oh, it could go either way. Two. The blue corner. Whoa. Round. There you go. Kid Savage. Absolutely. No idea how that one was going to go. I, I thought the fighters, fighters' faces uh, at the end maybe told a bit of a story. But nevertheless, 